Hey guys, how are you today? It's Jackie. I am outside. It is 72 degrees out here. Children are having fun. Um, 72 degrees out here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I was sitting in the sun, but I'm moving myself into the shade just for a few minutes. Um, I just wanted to say hi and um, see how you guys were doing, how you're holding up in this um, quarantine. Um, I'm an introvert, so staying at home is not a huge thing for me, but I'm getting a little stir crazy. I, I get out, I get out, um, and when it's nice like this, I have to come out and sit and, and, and pray, um, reflect. I just came off a 24 hour water fast, uh, my husband and I, and my church, my church called a water fast, 24 hours. I'm not used to fasting, so it was kind of hard for me, but... I thought it was going to be hard, but it wasn't that bad. We started at noon yesterday and ended at noon today. And um, I had this unusual thing called a hunger pang. And I'm like, we're not used to hunger pangs because we live in a world, most most of us, that we don't have those hunger pangs because we eat when we're hungry. I was pouting because I couldn't have my Coke. You know, I like to have a Coke a day. And I did have my Coke that day, so I'm even whining then. Guys, I think about the world and how it is for, like, our teenagers or our young people or children. When we were in school and kids, we didn't have to worry about this stuff. Not ever. It was never anything we had to worry about like this. We, we got up. We went to school. We did our homework when we got home. We played with our friends. We went outside and played till the street lights came on. Our parents called us in the house on the weekends. My neighbors would have uh, popcorn and Kool-Aid on the weekends and we'd all go and play kick the can and hide and seek. And now you can't even be six feet of each other. And some people are on a mandatory lockdown. Iowa's not yet. We are in a state of emergency. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not working. My job was a non-essential job. Um, my daughter and my husband are still working at this point. Now I just read something today where some scientists said that we shouldn't be, that the virus can be 27 feet from you. You can uh, catch it. It can be in the air. Um, I was going to do a story on it, and then I thought, no, because we have enough negative news going on right now and I've done my share and I don't think I need to do any more of that but you know I look at the sky and I hear the birds and this is the same earth the same sky the same earth the same that was there when I was a kid and now it's here and it's so different and people are afraid to go outside and just today, our Walmart, um, somebody put out a thing about our Walmart that somebody had just come back from Mexico and they're allowed to work in the front of Walmart helping people. And unless they show symptoms of being sick, then they're not, they don't have to self quarantine. And so they're telling people not to go to this certain Walmart. So, You know, it's just, it's just, what a world we live in. When I was, my daughter's 20. When I was 20, I had my job. I had my friends. I had my, um, you know, you got up, you took your shower, you did your day. You, I worked out. I, I had a boyfriend probably at the time. And just things were normal. And we have gotten so complacent and there's people that have went through some really hard stuff in this world, especially Christians that in other countries and the persecution and now we get a virus and this is the new normal for now. Um, I'm hoping uh, this could be the beginning of the end. This could be the end times. This could be, I'm certain that it has something to do with the setup of it. Uh, I think that God is being merciful um, God is being merciful by allowing us to be in our homes more 
he's taken away our little G's, um, you know, the, uh, I don't want to get into that because I don't want to cause a big uproar, but we are forced to be, most of us, in our home, homes, but we're spending more family time. The world's kind of calmed down a little bit, not calmed down, but slowed down. And it's hard for us because we're not used to it, but you guys, the United States used to be a nation, one nation under God. And then they try to take God out of schools and God out of of um, everything. And we have become a godless nation for the most part. Uh, do we deserve judgment? Yeah, we all deserve judgment of some sort. Don't you think? Um, don't you chastise your children when they do things that are wrong? I don't know. I didn't even have a plan what I was going to talk about. But I just wanted to come outside, enjoy the weather a little bit, and just reflect. Um, I, my two little dogs are out here, and they're just enjoying this weather so much but I got to keep an eye on them because we have a hawk around here I'm always afraid it's going to come get them but I love you guys and um, the little kid sounded scary <laughs> anyway just enjoy the noises I can hear the birds and the wind chimes and the breeze it's beautiful out and I just I know we got rain coming and, and it's going to drop back into the 40s Iowa's weather is just bizarre all the time. We have our air conditioner on one day and our heat on the next, but I'm glad to be alive. And um, we might, this coronavirus, I don't even know if you're supposed to say that name, but that this could be the beginning of a revival. It could be a beginning of a really nice time in the world for, for a while. And that's what I'm praying for. So, and I'm praying for you guys. So, have a great day and enjoy your day. Bye bye.